The owner of a gun used in the death of a 16 year old Johnston boy says he feels sorry for the victim's family. Mario Scurio said that following his arraignment today on a new misdemeanor charge connected to the deadly shooting last year. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now from Johnston with what else Curios had to say and what she's learned from court documents. Anita. Police originally said this fatal shooting was accidental, but that all changed last week when the death of Dylan Viennes was ruled a homicide. Now court documents reveal the involvement of Marios Curios and reveal some details of what happened that night. While leaving Kent County District Court Friday. Nothing to say to the victim's family at all. We're all victims, unfortunately. 30 year old Marios Curios had little to say to reporters. Do you feel sorry for what happened? Absolutely. Kyrgios was arraigned on one new misdemeanor charge, contributing to the delinquency of a minor. That minor is who police say shot the gun and is now facing manslaughter charges. Court documents say Kyrgios lived in the Cedar Street home in Johnston when the shooting happened last winter. Police responded to the home. Court documents say they found two individuals outside who said, quote, he's in the house and shot himself, referring to the victim, Dylan Viennes. Records show one of those two individuals is the 16 year old boy now accused of pulling the trigger. Kyrgios allegedly had five unsecured guns in the home, one used in this tragedy. It draws attention for the importance of owners of firearms to properly secure them, to prevent them from getting into the hands of, of juveniles. Dylan Vian's mother recently testified in favor of a bill before the General Assembly that would strengthen penalties for gun owners who do not properly store their weapons. So no other mother has to sit here with their nephew and protest the love that we have for a child who was taken far too young. Now, police tell me Kyrgios was released on bail at the time of his recent arrest on multiple unsecured firearm charges. He pleaded not guilty in court today and was released on $1,000 personal recognizance. In Johnston, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.